Hi, I'm Brian Canoke. Thank you for visiting fitnessatlantic.com. What we're talking about is criteria of events that are held at the Fitness Atlantic, and we're talking about bikini. All right, bikini has a few different federations offer bikini, and each one of them is different in what they're looking for. Okay. Um, What's cool about the WBFF is now they have a pro division. So now you compete as a pro when you win and you're going for some prizes and some prize money even at the world championships, large amount of prize money, $10,000. So you're looking at different things that are offered by these federations and understand their criteria. Okay, so talking about WBFF, they have a few rounds, two rounds. They have one round is your bikini. Uh, the bikini in bikini diva competition is usually different than the fitness model division. Fitness model can be off the rack bikini. Bikini is usually more of a pageant style bikini in this round. Okay, so you're going to see girls come out and have these beautiful bikinis on that they spend more time on, not just something off the rack, and they are wearing high heels. Um, you're not judged on the bikini itself. It's more or less how it fits you, it's what's in the bikini. So it's your body, all right, and how you present yourself. So this is 50% of your overall score, is this round itself, okay? So um, you're coming out in your bikini, you're T-walking, and usually uh, in this federation, you're given a score, but then you're brought back out and looked at with people in your class. They do some comparisons. They will do call outs. They will bring people out and compare people to other people. Okay, so this round is, I, I would say it has more emphasis than the next round, which is the long gown. All right, you're also doing a T walk in a long gown. Um, some bikini in, in other classes, you know, other federations have, have more rounds for this. And um, with the WBFF, you have fitness model has two rounds. and Bikini has two rounds, and this one with the long gown is about a, definitely classiness, bringing um, a whole nother level to the stage of physique competitions because you're gonna really bring something that's a gorgeous, gorgeous gown to the stage. It just, it looks very classy. It brings the show up to another level. Um, I would tend to say that your bikini round is a stronger round to really focus on, but you want a pretty gown, okay? so. In this round, um, they say in their criteria, no hats. Okay, so if you come out and you're in your bikini, don't wear a hat. You come out in your gown, don't wear a hat. Okay, no hats in this round. Um, they really don't want jewelry either. It's, it's um, I would say, you know, especially necklaces. You're not really looking to bring like, like jewelry and necklaces. It's, it is on the criteria. I'm not too sure how strongly that's going to be emphasized if you're wearing a bracelet. Um, definitely you wear earrings. That's not the problem. I think the emphasis on, on saying no jewelry is um, a lot of clanky bracelets and large necklaces. Those are the things that they're talking about. Okay. Earrings are fine. All right. Um, this is a beauty beauty contest is really mainly what it comes down to. Um, it's overall beauty. It's based on your body shape and tone. Comparing the bikini round and the fitness model round, I would tend to say fitness model would be a more athletic body. If you have a more athletic body, be in fitness model. If you have a more muscular body, then fitness model go into figure. So those are your different categories you have. You have figure is more muscular, fitness model, you're athletic. Bikini model is beauty contest, okay? That's what you want to think about as far as this round goes. So in this division, you have your bikini, your long gown, and the way that's judged, you want to definitely work on that presentation and walking out in your high heels. So that is the bikini, diva bikini, round. Okay, so we'll see you in the diva bikini. Bye now.